First thing we can look at once we get our machine up and moving uh, is we can look at our cruise control. So we have two different speeds there. Uh, if I engage cruise one, we can see that that locks in at eight mile an hour and turns green. At any point in time, I can hit my cruise two. That'll take us to the 15 mile an hour. And then I can also press that back down to cruise one and change that uh, speed back down. Uh, the second piece we can look at then is our shuttle shift. I press on my propel enable button here on the back and then I hold in. That will slow, stop, put the machine into reverse. I can use my propel enable and pull the joystick in and it'll slow, stop, into reverse at four mile an hour. If I do that a second time, it'll slow, stop, back into forward at six mile an hour. Third piece that we have uh, is our min DTM or power management, we haven't exactly decided the name for it yet, it is set to 1500 RPM. I can simply press on that button and I can set that to a new number and the RPMs will automatically adjust to the floor setting. Another way to change direction, so I can simply uh, since I'm moving forward, I can simply pull backwards on the joystick. Once the machine comes to a stop, click my Propel Enable button. It automatically puts me into reverse at the predetermined speed based upon where my handle was. Likewise, if I push forward, once I come to a stop, click the button, it automatically puts me back into forward. Uh, again, on the, at the predetermined speed based upon where my handle location uh, is.